streamer or any face on the internet is harder than a nine to five in certain ways because it fuck you up mentally. Flip farming and I'm not doing any shit. I mean this in the, in, the, in the nicest way possible. I swear to God, all my life, all my life, I swear to God, mentally, not physically, mentally, working as a streamer is the hardest job in the world. You can't even compete, bro. It's harder to work, be a streamer than be in the Olympics. I swear to God, all my life. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. A peeing on that, unless you actually worked a real job and you actually stream. If you didn't do both, you can't have an opinion. Nine to fives. We've all had one at least at one point in our lives, and some of you even watching right now still have one. It's a very common practice here in America that a lot of people participate in. However, the same cannot be said for streaming, or rather successful streaming. Obviously, what I mean by this is that you're streaming to a couple thousand to maybe tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of people at one time, and you're also making earnings from your work. Now look, we've gone over this topic here on the channel before, however, I do want to revisit this topic because it has been coming up again, and I feel like it's time we've made a little bit of a better video on this topic than last time. So which job is harder exactly? Well if you're asking me, a 9 to 5 by a long shot. However, I do recognize that there are some difficulties with streaming just as well as there are difficulties with 9 to 5. Both have their struggles. And while I don't necessarily agree with the notion that if one hasn't experienced a successful streaming career and a 9 to 5, then they can't speak on this topic, I can still somewhat understand why someone would think something like that. Let's start with some of the main points that you always hear some of these streamers bring up whenever they talk about this subject. And I understand it might just be clip farming just to get them more views, but let's just assume that anybody that you've heard say something like this isn't clip farming and they're genuine in their thought. One of the main arguments that you always hear these guys bring up is that it's taxing on their mental state. Supposedly streaming and always waking up to hearing people say stuff about you can be very very draining However, there are things like moderators that will filter out certain comments or will execute whatever the streamer exactly wants in their chat and things of that nature. To go along with this, a lot of streamers also say that reading hundreds and thousands of comments every stream is very taxing on their mental as well. However, unless you're doing just a sit down, just chatting stream where you're not really doing anything but reading chat, I found this to be just another excuse that these people use in order for them to tell you how hard their life is, which just further adds to the disingenuous nature of a comment like streaming is harder than 9 to 5. On top of that, let's say that you're playing a game or something, or even just having a nerf battle with your friends on live or something like that, or just walking around the city. You're not reading every single comment that somebody puts in the chat because you're off doing something else. Furthermore, the people that are doing just chatting streams, I know for a fact they're not reading every single comment. They probably won't even read your comment unless you're donating in the first place. It's literally impossible for somebody to sit there and read chat that's going at a million words per minute. So again, it just really doesn't make much sense to say something like this. However, I'll throw something else at you, and that is that streaming is hard in the sense that you first have to make it, or it's hard to make it big in the streaming world. I agree with this 100%, because for the people who are streamers that aren't big yet, that are 50 followers, 100 followers, or even 1,000 followers, you know, the real small time guys, I know for a fact that whenever that stream cuts off, they're going right to that 9 to 5 job and hating every second of it because they have to work something like that instead of doing something that they get to choose to do like a streaming job or content creation online and have that as their career instead. They're doing all this while knowing that they could be doing something like that. Now notice how I use the word choose. You get to choose to be a streamer every day. You get to choose to go on live every day. You get to choose to go everywhere you want to film your content and do whatever, make clips and do all this other stuff. That's your choice. All right, a lot of these streamers out here that you see on Twitter that are talking about this nine to five stuff, I kid you not have made millions from this shit and could retire whenever they want. Or at the very least, they've made a good amount of money doing this. Now, you know, that's not me pocket watching or anything, especially when they've literally leaked their earnings on camera before. <laughs> I guess you could probably even say that the same would be true for the nine to five side of this argument. However, I don't really think that that's the case when literally people who work a nine to five or work regular jobs, they kind of don't have a choice other than to do that. And that's how they're going to make money. It's literally either do that or be homeless. A streamer by the name of Yusuf7n said something about this topic that I do agree with, and it's that people will confuse hating their job for it being actually hard. Now, I do agree with that partially, but there are a large amount of people out there who do work jobs that hate them because they're hard. Like, obviously, not everybody in the world is working their dream job, so you clocking into whatever job that you have currently is going to feel like work. Even if you are working an easy 9 to 5 job, you're still doing it because you have to. That's always in the back of your mind when you're at the cash register, when you're stopping 
stocking supplies, when you're in the warehouse doing whatever, you're like, damn, I wish I could do something else. Or damn, bro, don't nobody want to be doing this right now. But I do it because I have to do it. It's either because I have to feed my family or provide for myself or make enough money so where I can contribute to the house financially if I'm still living with my parents. It's kind of crazy to see like a lot of these streamers talk about this stuff because it's like this might be the first time somebody has ever heard about these people and this is their first time even seeing them or hearing about them but it kind of gives off the feeling of them forgetting where they came from or them forgetting that not everybody has it easy and sure there might be some complexities in the background of streaming too such as with setting up your insurance or other stuff like that however I'd venture to guess that even in the case of these younger streamers they might be on their parents plan and even when that runs out by the time it does depending on where you are they should have made more than enough money to cover themselves when it comes to insurance the reason why I feel like streaming is easy is because for the most part the job is on you you decide whenever you want to start streaming you decide whenever you want to end the stream you decide whatever you want to do for that day on stream whether or not you want to clip farm or whether or not you just want to react to other people's videos you can decide whether or not to say something that's controversial that might get you canceled however in the case of just like a normal person that's streaming they wouldn't have to worry about getting canceled in the first place another thing that these streamers are afforded is a form of protection to most negative comments and that's simply due to the sheer volume of comments in general whether that be on Twitter, TikTok, or wherever they stream from. As long as they didn't say something controversial or they get outed for something, that really shouldn't be a problem. Another thing that I do agree that is hard about this job is that you can't really edit on the fly. You can't really edit while you're live. So it's kind of like if you mess up and say something, then you know a thousand people or 10,000 people or whatever are going to be talking about it on Twitter, which is definitely something to consider. Definitely would add more stress to the job as a whole. And of course I get it, you know, being controversial or saying edgy stuff sometimes, it definitely does drive clicks. So there is a sort of finesse I guess you have to have in order to be controversial, but not too controversial to the point where you're about to get banned. Now let's look at the other side of this argument, the 9 to 5 jobs. Now of course not every 9 to 5 job is created equally, you'll have things that are higher up on that list of difficulties such as working on an oil rig or working in a steel factory or even being a police officer or a firefighter and then you have stuff that's lower on the totem pole, things like a cashier or like a delivery driver. Now when it comes to difficulties, let's start off slow and then work our way up. A cashier for example has to stand there for hours on end in an uncomfortable uniform while trying to manage a line of people asking the same same damn thing over and over and over again. Hi, welcome to such and such. Did you have a phone number with us? On top of that, there are a lot of places where cashiers do more than just their assigned job. They'll have to do things like stock different ingredients on the shelves, break down pallets sometimes, all while they have a manager breathing down their neck to drive donations for some company that doesn't give two fucks about you. All of this while not having any type of benefits whatsoever. Somebody watching this might be out there saying, oh, that's light work, man. Come on. And you're right. It is. I was saying the exact same thing when I was talking about streaming. It's light Work. The only reason why I don't put cashier and streamer on the same level as one another is because once you make it as a streamer and you're making that money, all the bullshit that you're going to deal with ends up being worth it when you see those dollar signs at the end of the day. It's definitely not the same thing as being a cashier where you're working for minimum wage and that paycheck is likely only $200, maybe $500 at the most, which is chump change for some of these streamers who are talking about a 9 to 5 job. Not to mention the fact that based off of personnel, your weekly hours can vary. Once again, not the same thing as being a top streamer or being a streamer that can actually make money off of Twitch or Rumble or whatever you stream on. You can stream every day if you wanted to, run double ads if you want to, clip as many segments of your stream as you want to, put that up on YouTube and still run ads on that page, giving you even more revenue. You might get a brand deal which gives you more revenue. Are you starting to see what I'm talking about now? Even on the lowest level, and I'm talking about the lowest level of 9 to 5 jobs, the difficulties still trump over those of a streamer. Not to mention the fact that a lot of people have a cashier job as a side thing while they're focused on school. So that means that they're not only dealing with the BS that comes with having a job as a cashier, but they're also dealing with that added on to the fact that they're dealing with all the pressures and BS that comes with going to university. As we go higher up on the totem pole, we have things like a cop. Now, of course, cops do different things from day to day. Sometimes they're at the sheriff's office. Other times they're out on patrol late night. They're obviously just not sitting around eating donuts all the time. Their job is literally to protect and serve. Now, for as much hate and vitriol people have for cops, their job is pretty damn hard. And for the ones who are on patrol especially, there's always a chance 
chance of death. Same thing when it comes to being a firefighter. Even though depending on where you are, you know, the pay is good or bad. In my opinion, for things like a firefighter or a cop, the pay should always be good because you're quite literally risking your life. And here's the thing though, I bet if you were to ask most people what the price of their life would be, it wouldn't reach anywhere near what people are actually getting paid to risk their lives. And as a firefighter or a cop, this can be multiple times a day. You're dealing with a bunch of different people and personalities. And in the case of a firefighter, you're dealing with literal elements or chemicals that can burn you or just blow up. You're seeing traumatizing shit on the daily. And I haven't even touched on the stuff that really sucks. And you want to tell me that streaming is harder. And you know, this is kind of why I said that you don't really need to have lived as a top streamer to know what's going on or to have also lived a nine to five job in order to have an opinion because you can listen to what these streamers have to say on this topic and the reasons that they give as to why their job is harder than a nine to five. Then go ask your mom, dad, uncle, brother, sister, or whatever. What's the hardest part about their nine to five job? And you should have your answer. Hell, if you don't have anybody in your family that works a blue collar or a white collar job, I'm sure you could literally go to the next house over and somebody would be able to tell you. Now, look, as I said before, there are definitely some difficulties when it comes to streaming. There's no denying that. I, I can agree for sure. It's just that the reasons that are given even usually when streamers talk about this subject are never it. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you want more content similar to this, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Sub up, stay safe, and peace.